Hi, my name is Edward Chan and I'm an investment analyst here at Mary Asset. And today we will talk about the Asia semiconductor industry. Asia has a strong presence in the semiconductor industry globally. The region is already the biggest market for semiconductor, accounting for 60% of the global semiconductor sales. And key regions include South Korea, Taiwan, Japan and China. We see the strongest momentum in Asia semiconductor companies to gain market share globally. First, the industry competitiveness has strengthened over the past 20 years in key areas like memory, foundry, IC design, and more. Many Asia semiconductor companies have managed to become globally competitive. And today, the industry stands on a much stronger foundation compared to 20 years ago. Second, the cost advantage in semiconductor manufacturing remains strong in Asia. Key manufacturing hub in Asia continues to be one of the most cost-effective place to build semiconductor capacity, supported by solid infrastructure and talent pool. Third, increasing market share in Asia downstream players in consumer electronics, auto, and industrial favors local upstream supply chain. If we look at the semiconductor market share figures from the SIA, the US appears to have a significant lead with 47% market share and only Korea came close at 19%. However, foundry outputs are not included as it is not the final seller. Foundry is a significant cost for US fabulous companies, and Asia companies account for over 85% of the global foundry market. Therefore, Asia semiconductor companies have a stronger global presence than the data suggests, and will continue to be positive about its competitiveness and growth outlook. South Korea has built up a dominant market share in memory, leading the effort to migrate memory technology and cutting costs per bit. In 2020, Samsung and SK Hynix combined to account for 74% of DRAM market by bit shipment and 59% market share in NAND. There is also a sizable foundry business and domestic industry supply chain to support the local ecosystem. Taiwan has developed a closely connected manufacturing supply chain from semiconductor to hardware, which creates synergy in the region. Taiwan is competitive in chip manufacturing, IC design, OSAT, raw wafer, and more. TSMC, for example, has the largest market share in the foundry business and continue to be the technology leader in node migration. MediaTek is one of the two major suppliers in smartphone SoC. Global wafers, after the acquisition of Siltronic, will have a 25% market share in the raw wafer market, the second largest globally behind Sumco in Japan. Although its global market share remains relatively low at the moment, China is catching up in the semiconductor industry with strong government support. China has already invested around 650 billion RMB since 2014 through its state-owned sector investment fund, the National IC Industry Investment Fund. We see a continuous flow of funding and talent to support foundries, fabless, and other semiconductor companies in China. Japan's strength in semiconductor are in raw materials, equipment, and IDM. In upstream semiconductor materials, companies like Shin Itsu and Hoya are global leaders. Tokyo Electron is one of the top three semiconductor equipment makers globally, and Sony remains a leader in image sensor technology. Overall, we're excited about the development of the semiconductor industry in Asia. Thank you.